sofa cushion. Level one is, I want you to slam your sofa cushion on the floor, bend your knees and pick it up. So you have to pull your tummy in, you have to slam it down as hard as you can. Think about anything that's making you angry and put it down on the floor. So that is your level one of this exercise. If you want to make this harder, they'll go the other way around. I want you to jump slam. So then you're going really to get some height into it as you go down. You've got 30 seconds on the clock. Oh, she says, and on your marks, the bells. If you go here, this side bell, this goes this side bell. On your marks, get set and go. So let me see those jumps. So either level one, you just need to use that power, core is nice and tight, or jump slam. If you are jumping, think about your landing as you come down. So I want you to land in one go. It's quite satisfying, aren't they? <laughs> Good, so really think about that power and you're landing explosive up and coming down. You've got three, two and one. Good, pause. So it's 10 second break. I now want you to bend your knees and punch down to the sofa cushion. So this might be one. If you want to put a cushion on the here, on a chair, if you don't want to get all the way down. So start punching. So really bend that knees, elbows go up every single time. So your core is tight, bottoms in the air. I'm really trying to power down. Oh, they look good. And if you really think, so Pam, they're lovely. Think about that elbow going up every single time. Perfect, lovely. And next one. I either want you to come to your chair, step back, step in and up. There's your level one. Level two, jump off. And level three, I'd like a burpee. And if you want to hang on to your cushion, you can hang on. So you can jump, you can step, you can use your chair. On your marks, get set and go. So burpees. So Pam, you were stepping back, stepping in, and then reaching up. So you're flat and in and up. Sue, that might be one for you as well. Claire, good jumps. Peter, I like that on the chair. Really good. So Grace, you're on burpee. So you've got palms down, in and up. Perfect. Really, really good option. Okay, so next one. Put your cushion on the floor. I want you to step over it here or power jump over. So either tapping over the top. You can't see my feet, can you? So it's on the floor and either step over, step over or power over. Lovely, 30 seconds on your clock. Get set and go. Claire, nice. Peter, well done. Peter, I want both feet to land either side. Sean, good job. Tam, nice jumps. Tam and Poppy. Like we've got Poppy today. Well done, Pam. Sue, they look great. Well done, Sandra. Super happy with those ones. You've got three, two, and one. Gorgeous. Now, two options on this one as well. One of them, knees up, mountain climb here, or hands go down and on your chair here. So you're either mountain climb, sorry, level three, not three, level step, no, mountain climb, low on the ground. So they've got three options. On your marks, get set and go. So level one, you've got your hands up, Knees up and reach into the sky. Pam, that is perfect. You can mountain climb on the floor. Sean, that's great. Claire, bum down. Grace, flatter and bum down if you can. So this is hardest on the floor. It's easier on a chair. They are lovely options, everyone. Well done. I'm really happy with that. Perfect. So that was our round one. I did put some extra jumps in it. So, Grace, you missed the fun one. These are cushion slams. 
Round two, let's go. So level one, bend your knees, power with that core here. Level two, power jump. And really think about that speed going down. Think about those landing going through your feet. Good. Well done, so fast as you can with those jumps. Claire, just think about that landing. You're going down into proper squat. This one, you are down on the floor if you can. Elbows up, punching. If you want it easier, come up onto a chair. Let's go, power. So this one, if you think about those elbows, going straight backwards, bending that knees. Head is in line with your spine. Peter, they look great. You should feel this on your core. Head is up, wrist is nice and strong. Good, you have got five and four. You've got three, two and one. Brilliant. Next one's a burpee. So if you can, hands down on the floor, jump back, jump in and up. Burpee, can do it on a chair. Makes it easier. So you are in on those burpees. And then, if you don't like that jump, step back to plank, bend in and up. It's got three different levels. Well done. Claire, nice jump. Oh, I forgot there's a level four, isn't it? Well, isn't there? Uh, Claire, sometimes you can come up into that tuck if you want. It's a whole level just for Claire. <laughs> Don't worry about the top jump, I wish I could have been harder. Next one, on the floor. So I love having the cushion on the floor for this one, because it actually makes you go as far as you can to the side. So level one, step over your cushion. Good, level two, knees up and fly. And it just means you're not getting shorter. Claire again, bend knees on the way down. Great, they look lovely. Sandra, well done. Can we have rabbit time? Can we have rabbit time? Mm, when I finish. Please. Oh, again, make sure they're okay. Just make sure they're okay. Okay. All right, next one. Mountain climb. So, if you can, down on the floor, knees up, head in line with your spine. Mountain climb on a chair makes it easier. Or... Mountain climb straight up. So three options again. Hardest, hands are on the floor. Knees into your chest. Tam, Grace, Claire. Peter. Peter. <laughs> Peter, she says. <laughs> Charlotte, well done. I just keep saying Peter. I think you could be on the floor, Peter. <laughs> Maybe Peter. Don't have to. So that was round two. Well done. Okay, round three. Get that cushion. I can't tell you how much I like these. Slam down. So slam and bend. Jump slams your level two. So really thinking toe to heel. Big landing. Well done. Sue, they look great. Oh, Sean, I knew you'd like those ones. <laughs> Sean's enjoying that one, I like that one. <laughs> and well done. And you actually have to let go of that cushion. Okay, next one, on the floor. Elbows up, punch down. So heads in line with your spine. Core tight, let's go. And I want you to think speed, power. Putting this on the chair. Just takes that bend out of it. If you've got tight hamstrings, the floor looks the wrong way. Peter, that's good. Peter, I want you to think about your up a bit more. So that elbow up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good, Sean, elbows up. Claire, this one was punching. Well done. You've got three, two, and one. Good, hardcore, you're on burpees now. So jump back in and up, you can pick up that cushion every single time. If not, your step back chair, and up. Good, so show me. So you can jump on your chair, 
you can burpee on the floor. And think about that explosive. If you want a tuck jump after that burpee. If you want some serious cardio. Love seeing those tuck jumps coming in, show me. Peter, lovely, Anne, that looks really lovely. Sean, <laughs> well done. Good, you've got four, three, two, and one. Gorgeous. This is jump over your cushion time. So either step over, good, and here, lovely. So level one, step over your cushion. Level two, pick your feet up and jump over it. I'm hot, the strip off. Good, 15 seconds, the knees are up, flying side to side, think core tight, landing those knees nice and soft. You've got five, and four, three, two, and one. Gorgeous, mountain climb. Then you get one minute break. So level one, knees up, level two, chair, level three on the floor, Peter. Let's go. <laughs> Sometimes it's an option, unless I call your name 3,000 times. So Pam, you are up here. Thanks Peter, so I wanted the last round. <laughs> so well done. <laughs> Peter, Peter, they're good, they're good. Tan Poppy, well done. Good, you've got five and four, three, two and one. Well done. So this is your first one minute water break. Come to the camera, thumbs up if you feel okay. Are you all still alive? Yeah. <laughs> Sean's got circly thumbs up, I love that. Does that mean you're really okay? I love that. So just have one second. Water break. Remember, if I am like, if you don't get what you're doing, remember you can come off mute and shout at me. I'm more than happy with you shouting at me. Okay. So wherever you are ready, grab your sofa cushions again. And just have a little think about it. So this next one, it's a slam again, but going across your body. So just have a little quick practice, your shoulder height, and I just want to make sure you were letting go of that cushion early enough. So it's here, you let go early, and the hands go, and then you have to bend to pick it up. Again, you're trying to put, throw it down, and this should be working obliques here. Now, my experts, I want you to come and ice skate and throw. So you're going opposite, and opposite. I have trouble, I haven't got much width, um, but you're going opposite and opposite. So either level one here and bend, here and bend, or with the ice skate. It's a fun, isn't it? On your marks, get set and go. So show me. Either shoulder height across, bend down, shoulder across and down, or that big leap. <sighs> Diagonal across, show me. Oh, it's a good one. I like the coordination, Tam and Poppy. Sandra, good pack. Pam, nice power. Well done. Has Peter upset you today, Pam? <laughs> Sean, I knew you'd be amazing at these. Grace, well done. That is perfect. I love those. Okay, so holding that here. High knees. So we're just going to go for a run. So taking anything complicated out of it. 30 seconds. We're going to race Sean. Shun's in the bottom right of your screen. She's really speedy. This is where I want you to think hot floor. I think Shun's really annoying you. She's out in front. She's really fast. We're trying to chase her. I want to be competitive. Shun is really competitive. She's not going to let you get away. Well done, you've got five, four, three, and one. That is perfect. Okay, next one. I, you, um, next one, I'm going to pause a second. I want one step to come back here. Good, so chest is up, and then come up to knee. So you are touching the floor here, 
chest is up, arm is up here. So here and there. Then, so power version, you hop. So you're touching the floor, hop and chest up. So two versions, that is absolutely lovely. Did you say thank you team? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I've done emergency if you leave all of that there, that would be amazing. Okay, so we have got 30 seconds. On your marks, get set. And guys, this is touch the floor, power hop. So you're balancing on one leg. Chest is up. Core is nice and tight. Really driving through that supporting leg. This should be killing your supporting leg. Good, and you have got five and four, three, two, and one. Good job, other side. So get ready. So you don't have to, um, you don't have to add the hop in. The hop is just if you want to power, you'll still feel it core and bottom leg. On your marks, get set, go. So big hop, driving up through that heel, chest is up, trying to get that knee down, core is nice and tight. Perfect. And try and make that hop as high as you can. Brilliant. Good. Lovely. And one. Gorgeous. And last one of this set is bear going into plank. So you are pulling back on your bottom. I'm on my chair and then shooting forwards. So shoulder is back here and then pushing forwards. If you are on the floor, you are back in your heels and then I've just about got enough room. So you should feel it on your quads. So this is definitely one that's easier on a chair. Bare plank. Claire Claire, you're on the floor. Gracie, that looks lovely. Oh, Sue looks lovely. Well done. Perfect. So 30 seconds of bare plank. On your marks, get set and go. Well done. Sandra, are you okay? So Sandra, this one stays down. If you want to have a quick look, Sandra, you are pulling back and then plank. So bum is back and plank. Feet don't move. So just bend your knees. So pull back, bend your knees and then plank. One second. Okay, super. I'm gonna pause you just one second there and redo that. Sandra, can you come up a little look just because I'm worried about your back a little bit. So this one, everyone show me bear. So bear, your bum is back and your arms are stretched forwards. So just everyone hold me bear, lifting up through your tummy and then there's where your straight legs are. So bottom is back, core is tight here, hold it. Just hold me a bit, pan, they look fantastic and then come forward. It's even harder going slower. Sandra, that is perfect. Oh, Sean, you're so nice and low. Love that. Well done, everyone. Oh, Sue, you're backwards as well. Sue, <laughs> Sue, go on, quick look. So, Sue, bear is here with your knees bent. And then straight legs go forward here. Just show me one more. We're nearly there. They'll go, yes, Sue. Yes. That is perfect. Well done. And I'm trusting you because I can't see you. So we are, that was set one. We've come off timer slightly. So I'm going to go back on timer. Get your sofa cushions ready. This one was ice skater and leap or coming across and throw. Sofa cushions ready. On your marks, get set and go. So come and leap across. You okay? That's nice. Good, got half an hour more. I'm going to watch two more things. Okay. So remember, you can step side to side. Knee is going over your toe, going diagonally across your body. You have got eight and seven. You've got six and five. Well done. You've got four and three. Perfect. This is our race. Who is looking fast today? Sandra, I never pick on Sandra, but I've ever picked on Sandra. Sandra's gonna wave at you now. 
Sandra's waving. Can Sandra wave? Yeah, that's Sandra. So Sandra is out in front. She's the one to beat. Keep your eye in Sandra on that top corner. So we're going to go really, really fast and beat Sandra. On our marks, get set, go. So this is your fast run. Arms are forward and back. Core is nice and tight. Really think about those knees going up every time. So chest is up. Sandra is very speedy. We're going to have to go faster for these last five seconds. You've got five and four, three, two and one. Perfect. This is hop to lunge. So knee and hop, knee and hop. So if you can, come here. Oh, it's so nice working out. Katie, there's a rabbit running up and down the stairs. Do you think you can catch it? <laughs> okay, do you reckon you can catch the rabbit? No. Super. So really think hard. <laughs> I did just wake up one day and become Beatrix Potter. There are white rabbits everywhere driving me mad. He's now sitting on the staircase giving me evils. Switch over that side. <laughs> Knee goes down, core's nice and tight. So this is really good for your balance. There's a get ready position here. Power up now. So every time you go down, obviously you don't have to go all the way down to the floor if you don't want, but the lower you can get, that's where it's working your core. Knee is up, chest is up. Well done. And really try and drive that height every single time. So Claire, hop higher. You're missing out my power hop. Good. Was that one hard? You were looking like that one was hard. Next one is bear plank. So bottom is up in the air here. Shoot forward into plank. So knees are bent. Bottom is here. You can be on a chair. So you're there and forwards. There and forwards. Really trying to think bottom down every time. And I feel this one on my quads. It's the front of my leg. Hips are going down. Good, dropping down. Perfect, and you have got five. Sandra, perfect. Peter, gorgeous. Well done. Super, so that was round two. Perfect, so, round three. Sofa cushions ready, ice skater slam. So, diagonal line. If yours misfires like mine did, it's fine to go and get it. But still thinking about that power that you had. If you've got the space, really travel sideways. High leap as it comes down. Claire, great job. Poppy and Tam, well done. Poppy, can you let down? Sandra, I like that. Poppy, you need to let go higher to get that wrist flick and get it really, really hard. Well done. This is our race. Poppy and Tam are right in the middle. They're going to give you a wave. It's Poppy's first class. Welcome, Poppy. And knees go up. Here's your board shopping. Thank you. Thank you, girl. Hands are forward and back. We're racing Poppy and Tam. Poppy has a very low bench benchmark of what she has to get better on today because her brother came to one of my classes and threw up after about six minutes. <laughs> so Poppy, you've already done more than your brother. Well done. <laughs> I'm very impressed. You've already won. Next one is that lunge to hop. So if you can, Touching down to the floor, big knee up. Good, show me. Okay, girl sweetie, I've got 15 minutes and then you can have that snack. If you're good, I'll let you have some of those after. I promise, listen, listen, I promise. Mummy finishes her class. Yes, you can sit there. Yes, yes. Good, big hop, really think about that fly. You've got five and four. Three, two, and one. Gorgeous. Okay, other side. You can join in as well. It's also okay, it's hops. 
to get ready. Think about that core, think about your chest up. You've got three, two, and one. Let's go. Big hop. Really think about that power. Chest is up. Dropping that toe back. Well done. So, Belle, all you have to do is make sure they can see. Well done. Really think down to the floor. The lower you can get, the more it's working your core as you explode up. Think it explodes up. It should be burning. You're supporting bottom cheek, whereas this one's working. Well done. Next one is bear and plank. So, if you get ready in position, chair if you want it, start bare, because then you can really think bum back, shoulders back, and then shoot forwards into plank. I am exactly the width of my kitchen. So once you've got those legs right, here and power. And again, you can be quite explosive with this one. Think hard power plank. And it should feel a bit like you're an animal pouncing on your prey. So you're here, pounce, here, pounce. Good, so if you've got four more, you've got four. Well done, Bear. good girl, thank you for helping. And two, and one, good job. Well done, that was three rounds for that last one. Quick water break. <sighs> okay, quick check. Thumbs up for still alive. <laughs> and still there, I like that. <laughs> Sorry, Poppy and Anne's first week, yeah. <laughs> Love that, Sue, are you okay today? Cool. Sean, is your back all right? Oh, all right, okay. Oh dear, that wasn't a convincing one, was it? Perfect, so make sure I've got space so you don't get hurt. Right, so next one, we are going to do one of the fun party ones. So this one, level one, I want power kicks. Claire is brilliant. Okay, so stop, stop, you've got to help mommy. So Claire is brilliant at Mary Poppins. Knees up if you want to make it harder. On your marks, get set and go. So low impact, you've got punch and kick. High impact, it's like a Mary Poppins bird. And knee is coming up. Claire is a lot better at these than me. So either Peter, driving that foot, really trying to give it some weight, pushing in that. You've got to try and be good just a little bit longer. You are doing really, really well. Just sit there nicely. Good, you've got five, four, three, perfect. Next one is push-ups. So this is where, if you've got your chair, you can use your chair for push-ups. If you know what you're doing, Belle, that is dangerous and you can't do that. Good, so come and, come on to push-ups here. Chest goes down. Okay, do you want to get your reward? Is Kate watching something on TV you don't like? Yeah? Okay, so, so go and get me Kate and go to come back. Good, so elbows are wide, core is nice and tight, heads in line with your spine. Well done. See so if you can push up all the way to the end, that is perfect. Well done. And next one, coming and jumping up nice and high. I just want a jack. So if you can, jack here. If you don't want the jump, come side to side. So just get started. Here's your low impact jack, level one. Level two, just jump side to side there. Perfect. Can you see if there's extra distractions? I have to write everything down. <laughs> I'll get to set two and I'll be like, I've got absolutely no idea what I did. You've got five, four. And remember, low impact, you don't need to jump. Two and one, that is perfect. Next one is walking plank. So this is where you can push up on a straight arm and elbow comes down. So level one, you're on the chair or the sofa. Level two, you are down on the floor. So show me walking plank. So either on the floor, elbow up, up, down, down. Or if you want it easier, use that chair or that sofa. Sandra looks gorgeous, well done. Grace, really lovely on your back. Pam, nice job. Hoover lost, <laughs> Hoover lost. It just says iPad. 
Oh, Sue, I've lost. All right, it's fine. Sue, so you just need to break. That is perfect. Okay, so that was round one. Yeah. Okay, Belle, did you remember you were going to get cake? And I'll tell her off to put something else on TV. Go that way and get cake. Lovely. So we have got kicks to start with. Powering through your foot here. And Mary Poppins going here. On your marks, get set and go. So Mary Poppins here. There's your level two. Core is nice and tight. Or powering through that heel. Driving and punching. Good. So either that's where these are. Foot is coming up. Yeah, she, I do. I do. You need to look after Belle. I have got uh, 20 minutes more. So you need to put something on TV or go upstairs. Good girl. Perfect on those kicks. Next one is push ups. So elbows nice and wide if you're on your chair. If you can, come down onto that floor. 30 seconds. And timing, I think you should be trying to get about 15 in. Good, so head is in line with your spine. This is that screaming thing that I told you I might have to deal with. <laughs> I'm having that children's screaming thing. You may have to push up forever. <laughs> Keep push up being. I'm going to tell you when you're there. And I will deal with my screaming thing. You've got three, two, and one. Well done. So next one. On that bell, you've got jack or side to side jack here. You have got four, three, two, and one. I'm trusting you on jack, so I'm running off. Okay, okay, I'm absolutely serious. I've got one. Stop. Nice to be on. Absolutely serious. Take me off then. I'm going to take the toy away and don't come to bed. Really serious. She doesn't want to be bent. Do you think I'll fix the war? I'm not sure I have either. <laughs> well done. Good. So that was perfect. I trusted you on your jacks. I didn't see them. Next one is walking plank. So if you can be on the floor, you're pushing up straight arm, straight arm, elbow, elbow. If that feels too much or any lower back stuff, use that chair to come up and down. Really driving through that elbow. Hips are down, heads in line with your spine. Good, so Sandra, trying to be as flat as you can in that plank. Peter, they look brilliant. Sean, they look brilliant. And your speed looks perfect. Well done. Pam, I'm really impressed. Well done, Claire. Tam and Poppy have disappeared, but I totally trust you. Totally trust you. Yeah, you look hot. I like that. <laughs> I look like it was working. I love that. So third set of this one. Power kick. So show me that power. Do you want to join those level twos? Feet are going up. Core is nice and tight. Really think about firing through that foot. Knees are going up every single time. Claire is the best of these. Tam, they look lovely. So Anne, yes, completely. So you can... Just I put, imagine I put you're kicking in. a door, I've got bell -like on. driving through that heel in and out as fast as you can. So you don't have to do the job, but and that look lovely. Next one is push ups. So just bringing in that upper, upper body. So floor if you can, heads in line with your spine, or you're here on your chair, and it just makes the floor a little bit closer. On your chair as well, if you take your feet further apart, that spreads the weight out and makes it easier as well. Pam is in so well. Sean, I love your range of motion. Well done, so I hope you're okay. Just take a rest, Sue, if you need to, and join back in when you can. Next one is Jack, so a really easy one. Just jumping your feet out and in. I want you to think about your landing. Heels go down every single time or side to side here. So Jack goes here, heels are down, pulling those arms or coming over your head here. So there's your level one, level two, jumping down with those feet. Nice strong arms is the other one. If you can pull those arms down, you're actually getting a really good workout on your arms. 
perfect. You've got five, four, three, two, and one. And back down to that chair. This is walking plank. Now, when you think about that speed, so driving up your arms, body stays still. Sue, so does that one feel too much? You can just hold the plank on the chair if you want. So if you don't want to go up and down, just put your arms down, either on elbows and straight legs, and hold that plank here. That's perfect, Sue. So Sue and Pam, just hold that plank. Get used to that weight being on your arms. It's perfect. Sandra, well done as well. Anna, love that speed. Well done, Claire. They look brilliant. Tab looks really good speed. You have got five and four, three, two, and one. Gorgeous. Well done. So we have almost come to the end of this workout. So I'm just going to do a couple of bits of lower body to finish. So I want you to, if you want to, do your abs on a chair. That's absolutely fine. So first one chair, I want your feet to come up and then down on the floor. So this is a bunny hop, that you're lifting your feet up, going up and down, up and down. My level twos, I'm gonna adjust for a little bit. I'm coming off timer. My level twos, come and sit on the floor with your cushion. Where do I need to be? And I basically want you to do the same thing, but with your cushion. So hands go behind you, and you are lifting your cushion up and down. And every single time, you're trying to stretch your cushion a little bit further away. So you can do any kind of bad backs, getting down on the floor. This works here. Tam, that looks lovely. Well done, Tam, it's really nice and high. Sue, well done. So on your back looks perfect. And Grace, you are, Grace, just to come and have a little look a second. Lift your foot up and my body, so I'm in V-sit. So my body's not moving, it's just my legs going up and down. And then just a quick one, any of my experts, Gracie, Claire, Tam, um, if you don't want to hold on, then you can do this with just the feet going up and down. And you should feel that right into your lower abs. So either staying where you are on the chair or staying in V, I would just want you to stay there for 10 seconds. So lift your feet up, head is up, core is tight, abs are nice and tight. And you can hold that there for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Perfect. So next one is rainbows. So I will do chair first. <laughs> chair first. On your chair, I basically, you can hold on to your chair. I basically want you to bunny hop side to side here. So you're kind of switching on your bottom side to side. And then we are the same on the floor. So either hands on the floor, and then I just want you to tap your feet up and over. And this is one of them, especially if you're on the floor, you never knew how heavy that sofa cushion was, did you? <laughs> so these are pretty hard. I want you to make the biggest circle you can, Peter, that looks lovely. Well done, Tam and Poppy. Well done, Sue. Sandra, they look great. Sean, but lovely. Grace, are you all right? <laughs> you okay? So Grace, I want a little bit more side to side, I think. So this one, you're going up and side, up and side, so right into that waist, two and one. Perfect, so come and hold on, whatever you're holding on to now, lift up your feet and now come in and out. So sit up and back, up and back, here and back. Good, so you can do this on the chair, you can do this on the floor. You've got five, four, three, two and one. Gorgeous, give your legs a pat. We're just gonna do one more set of those. That extra bit of abs. I ate a lot of birthday cake yesterday. It was just kind of sitting there looking birthday cakey. I went to bed going, I just feel quite sick. I had a lot of birthday cake. So lifting up and down with those feet. So straight up and down to start with. Really focus on lower abs pulling in on the way down. If you've got a super strong core, come and lift off your hands. Thinking about squeezing that cushion together if you've got it. Helps your inside thigh and pelvic floor. 
Good, hold it up for you for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Gorgeous. I was hurting my quads. <laughs> Good, and lift up, and now side to side. So you have got 10, and 9, 8, and 7, 6, and 5. You've got 4, and 3. You've got 2, and 1. Perfect. Last set of abs. This is all focused on your core transverse abdominis at the bottom. Okay, you know your stuff. Go straight up and down. So you have got 10 and up. You can put your hands down. Sometimes I think with my hands down with that one, because I'm not messing about with my balance, I can focus even more on those lower abs. See if you can do me four more. And three. Good. Two more. And one, hold it up for 10 seconds. Do you see me bracing myself? It felt quite hard. <laughs> and one, good. Lovely, so next one is side to side, rainbows. So you're tapping, trying to get into those obliques. You've got eight and seven, six and five. I think I finished myself off in legs, bums and toms today. You've got three, two and one, good. And knees come in and out, so scrunch up and long. Scrunch up and long. You've got five, four, you've got three. Well done. You've got two and one. Nice job. Okay, so quick stretch forward. So you could stay if you're sitting down on your chair. And you can stretch forward here. Just stretching out the backs of your legs. Or if you're on the floor, see if you can stretch forward on your floor. Relaxing that head over. Well done. Feet go together and knees go to the side. Really thinking about your breathing. Well done. Next one, you can either do standing up and drop your knee down and try and stretch out your hip flexor or um, you can kneel down on the floor. So just wherever you are, Whatever is the most comfortable for you. Perfect. And come and switch over the other way. Lovely. And last one of these. Um, feet, knees go together. Stretch out your quad at the front. And get a good stretch on your chest as well. And switch over to the other side there. Well done. Lovely. So come and grab yourself a drink of water. And this is the, this is the bit that we just have a little bit of a chat about kind of food, diet. I'll give you some ideas. Yeah. <laughs> and you can just share anything that is or isn't is or isn't working for you right now. So uh, apologies to everyone that's done this course before. Um, but today I'm going to talk about breakfast because it is really possible to mess up your whole day's worth of food by messing up your breakfast. And one of my big things about breakfast is I think you shouldn't be having too much sugar and that, in and that includes fruit. Because basically when you eat sugar, um, it gives you a burst of energy, but it, bur but it burns off really quickly. And then your insulin level rises and then you will want more sugar. And that will happen after about an hour and a half, two hours. So having a big fruit for breakfast, like a big apple or orange juice, is going to create that insulin response in you. Um, equally, if you don't have breakfast, that can also equally mess you up because... Um, all of us kind of were in a hurry. I had three Zooms going at once today. Life has got more stressful. I spoke to Tam for two minutes. <laughs> like, how has life got so complicated? I don't know. Um, so, but then by missing your breakfast, not taking that time to eat something, it's also setting yourself up for messing up the rest of the day. Because if you've missed your breakfast, are you then going to be starving hungry in a, ru in a rush, grabbing biscuits, chocolate bar, crisps, anything that's to hand at 10.30 because you're starving. And then again, you're starting that early sugar response. 
So my uh, so my tip of today is resetting yourself. We're all getting there after Christmas lockdown. Breakfast is important. So uh, does anyone want to share? Uh, and another one, if we have time, I am rubbish at this myself. If you have time to add ch protein in with your breakfast, I would say that would be ideal. So if you have time to do eggs, pancakes, frittatas, protein shake, um, that's amazing. Um, I am not super mummy. <laughs> And I know that I'm supposed to be doing that on Sunday mornings. I sometimes home bake gluten-free pancakes. That doesn't open, happen on a Tuesday. <laughs> it's sometimes asked for on a Tuesday. And I'm like, no, those homemade pancakes are not happening this morning. You're getting a piece of toast. <laughs> so <laughs> that does happen. Um, so what, so, so, um, so you did this course. What are you having for breakfast? Me? Yeah. This morning I had yogurt with uh, granola. Oh, all right. Well done. Well done. <laughs> Perfect. Love that. Tam, we're trying to get you back reset. 